What's going on guys, it's Craig with Take360 and today we're going to talk about cleaning your concrete. Alright, so first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video, make sure you like and subscribe and let's get into it. So, a lot of people have come to me or they've, uh, I've made a previous video on this uh, a couple years ago and uh, people seem to have some questions and comments on it. So I'm going to answer some of those questions and comments or at least more give comments and questions. But uh, you know, people are always like, oh, you know, you can always use, you know, like this right here is just a piece of concrete right here. Obviously, you see grass on each side. People are always like, oh, man, you can just put bleach on it, man, just let it ride. Or you can, you can put this on it, you can do this and do that. Yeah, you can. You can put bleach on it, you can do all these chemicals and stuff like that, but I don't want to kill my grass, okay? Uh, the majority of this is St. Augustine. Uh, it's already dying off for the year because we're cutting back on water, so that's fine, but it'll come back next year. But we do not want to kill the grass where it does not grow at all, okay? So we just try to use water, just plain water, and it's the cheapest, easiest way to do it. I mean, because I know like everybody else these days, we're all about saving, saving money and trying to find a way to save money and you know, quit, you know, not going out and having to spend a buttload of money and fortune on just cleaning concrete. Like you see, it's, it's kind of black, it's moldy. It happens, you know, just the, the rainwater, whatever, just everything just sitting on it just collects and turns black. So one guy was like, oh, you know, uh, Go to Home Depot and you can buy this round thing, cleans concrete, do all this. You got to get this, you know, and you can buy this this compressor to go with it. Do this, do that. Okay, well, after looking all into that, the round thing, compressor and stuff, now we're like three or four hundred dollars in. Okay, that's too much. That's I just went and scratched that right off the bat. So what I did, I, I got in the papers and I started looking and I found a sale on I think it was at Lowe's on Ryobi uh, power washers. That's all I wanted, just a little power washer, you know, because I use it like for different things. Uh, cleaning pools and just odds and end things. So, uh, so I got a little, little bitty, little, little bitty power washer. So as you see, it's just a, just like I said, just a little, little Ryobi 1600 psi, um, 1.2 gallons a minute. You know, power washer. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. I think I gave like 85 or something like that for it. I don't remember. It's nothing, nothing crazy. And the, the, the tip on the end, the nozzle. I think this one's a 15 degree. It's a little narrow, but I mean, you can definitely use a wider one. So let me show you guys. Uh, let me get the camera set and we'll get started on this and show you show you what I'm gonna do. All right, so real quick, and one more thing I wanna go ahead and let you guys know, uh, if you're gonna do this, you can do it barefooted or you can do it with shoes, but I would recommend not doing it with shoes that you like, because obviously uh, your feet will get wet. So I'm gonna take my shoes off and then we'll get started on this. So first off, as you already see, you can kind of tell from the sides, I've already kind of sprayed it and got a little wet. Now I do that because that helps soften up the uh, whatever stuck to it, you know, the mold and mildew stuff. I use that to kind of help soften it up. Uh, it just makes it easier to come off any power wash. And basically when you do power wash, you want to kind of go back and forth. You don't want to just kind of just go everywhere because then you kind of lose track of what you cleaned and it ends up looking crazy when it's all said and done with. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so that's it. It's pretty simple. Like I said, it's nothing crazy, nothing too expensive. It's just, it's easy. Now, like I said, I know some people are like, well, why don't you, and when you get done cleaning, won't you spray it down with bleach and stuff? Well, I have done that and I do understand your logic and thinking of that, but I have done that and it's killed my grass in the past. I don't want to do that, so that's why I do not put bleach or any kind of chemicals on my concrete. Just because I don't want to get in my grass and killing it now. If you just have dirt and you don't really care about your grass, yeah, power wash it and put some put some bleach on it. That'll help kill all the mold and mildew and all the other stuff. Keep it from and just slow it down from coming back. Now it'll also work like the same process also work like on your brick, like for your flower beds. Like we like right here we have the 
the red stone brick. I'm gonna bring it down here and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so as you see, we have the red brick that we use to basically line the flower beds. Uh, and like you know, see, the same thing. You get this mold of mildew stuff. And that's one thing too, like everything we have, it always molds and mildews on the north side of everything. So this is north. And this, what I'm doing, doesn't just work for concrete only. Like I said, it's gonna work for brick. Uh, it'll work for like trailers, cars, anything like that. But uh, let's get the power washer and I'll show you how this stuff comes right off. All right, so you'll basically, you'll go right back to kind of the same sweet motion. So we'll get started and let's do it. We'll see what happens here. See? Almost like new now. All right, so we have more here, like you can see right here. It's just in time, it gets green, it gets moldy, it gets funky, it gets nasty. It's just part of what happens in this stuff. So let's just do this. Let's get the power washer after it and let's see what happens. Got good and wet. better to me. Oh, funky green, straight to clean. Let's continue on and let's keep on cleaning this here. All right guys, so once again, that's how you clean concrete. I know it's looking a little dirty now, but we already cleaned this because we cleaned the brick here. So I pretty much showed you how easy it is to clean concrete and like stone or your brick or whatever. Um, it does work on many different applications, not just concrete, um, but this is the most common way or most easiest and cheaper way to clean your concrete. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please comment below. Don't argue, don't fight. Until next time.